So anyway, before I jump into q and I, I want to share something with everyone because I think I, I want to share three reasons why I believe men are less likely to commit. And why I think it's important to get this understanding is because I, and, and this is going to be from the man's point of view towards a woman. Okay, let me just say this. The opposite of what I'm about to share can be said true for women and men. But I want to bring this up because this came up in one of my conversations today. And I think it's important to address this. So number one is when you are putting yourself out there to be seen by single eligible people, I think it's incredibly important to create the best representation of yourself, the best representation. Can you expand upon yes. that? Yes, and if, you, if you're not a good writer, you know, read somebody else's profiles or get some help with somebody. There's a lot of places that will help you with those uh, type of things. Yeah, there's services like yeah. eCyrano and others that will actually create a profile. Now we're talking about the online dating realm, but when I'm talking about the best presentation of yourself, whether it's the photographs you create, it's also um, what you present out in the world, you know? Right. Okay, let me give you an example. You know, when we travel, you didn't like the fact that I'd wear ratty t-shirts, you know, on a plane. You would like, you you preferred someone that has a little bit more style. Yes. Is that a criticism? I don't mean yes. to throw you under the bus. Yes. So I began wearing button-down shirts when we travel. Well, doesn't he look better? <laughs> like, tell me he doesn't look better wearing shirts. I get it, and I actually like that feeling of looking better. So my point is, it's also, it's interesting, people look at you a little bit differently. Like when I get on a plane now, I'm wearing a sport coat, I can just tell people are looking at me differently, and I, I, it's absolutely true for women as well. A man will notice a woman who's put a good presentation of herself. Well, in the online dating world, men lie about their height and women lie about their body type, you know? And at the end of the day, it, it's about putting an accurate presentation of yourself because nothing is worse than meeting someone and then being disappointed when you physically meet them. Yeah, I think a lot of us have been through that. Even though you didn't like my, I didn't look my Photoshop pictures. Yeah, no, you didn't look. I'm just kidding. Well, he wasn't, well because he wasn't wearing a sport coat in his pictures and it, I don't know if we've talked about this before, yeah. like on, on profiles, and I think men and women alike do this, they'll go through somebody's profile and they'll pick the picture they like the best and they're like, this is what he looks like. This is, a, this is the guy that's gonna show up. And you know, if he wasn't dressed, um, you know, he was dressed okay, but I expected the guy in the sport coat because that's the guy that I liked. So again, this is about putting the best presentation of yourself, whether it's online, in person. And a lot of times you know, women will get dressed up for a date. But I, I do believe that one of the reasons why so many women don't get approached is right off the bat, they don't put a good presentation of themselves. Number two, and this what I'm about to share is true for men and women alike. They have significant unhealed traumas and wounds, both in childhood and in adult life, that causes them, them to be a little less desirable in the dating marketplace. And let me just expand upon this for a second. The fact is the older we get, the more traumas we can have. And I'm, the biggest trauma of all for us in midlife is going through a divorce. That is can be a significant emotional trauma. And for many people, I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. For many people, it causes, them to be less attractive to the opposite sex because they're holding on to a lot of negativity. Well, like you said in one of our other videos, is yeah. that when you would go meet somebody, it's like like every guy they dated is right behind them. Every guy, every disappointment every, every, they ever yeah, had every disappointment is, is standing right behind, right behind them. And so it's really important to actually do the personal development, self-help and spiritual work to actually be prepared to be in a healthy, happy relationship. I'm gonna plug my book for a quick second, but most of you know, I have a book I've written called What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help and Spiritual Work. By the way, there's a link below to get a copy of my book. Why, this isn't a dating book, this is a book about being your best self. Because the more work we do on ourselves and the better prepared we are to be in a relationship, then we can b attract a good relationship in our life. But more importantly, we can keep a good relationship in our lives. Yeah. You know, 
going back to presenting the be your best self, um, it doesn't mean that you have to be the most beautiful woman, but just making yourself look good and approachable and an, everybody has a nice smile or nice eyes and stuff. And you meet somebody that, that then sees that in you. And you know, that, it's a great feeling when you present yourself a certain way and they see you, they see how you, the, what you did to present that way. Right? Do you remember what watching you the, no, I was going to say something. I remember we're watching the friends episode where Chandler couldn't smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But folks, I want to give you a quick trick on how to create a great smile for a photograph, because the reality is, is most of us, when we try to smile, it doesn't look good on camera. And this is something I learned from a model 30 years ago. And she said, when you're ready to take a photograph, chuckle. You know, <laughs> now it feels <laughs> awkward because you're moving a little bit, but you're, but the reality is the camera catches the enthusiasm, which gives you that Julia Roberts, Tom Cruise kind of smile. Not that I have one of those. I mean, you're yeah. closer to that than I am. Um, I but, it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's creating that energy. So right now, get your girlfriends, get your friends to take a photograph, use their smartphone, just take some chuckling like this. <laughs> and and right there, and you really will have a better presentation of yourself because people who are smiling in their photographs or just in the real in, in real life are more approachable. Yeah, no duck lips. No, no duck lips. No duck lips. Yeah. Okay. Not good. Mm -hmm. The third thing, and this is really sad for me to share, but I do believe that today, it is so much easier for men to just simply hook up with women. And because of that, because the ease of getting sex is almost, the barrier to entry is so low that men are less likely to commit based on that. What are your thoughts? You're not a guy, but. <laughs> I'm not a guy, thank God. Um, <laughs> no, I think, you know what, it takes the right woman to, um, to look, if, you're, if you want to hook up, go hook up, have fun. You know, it's your life. However, if you're really looking for a relationship and you know, you're interested in this person, you know, take a little time to really see maybe this maybe you're just infatuated with what he looks like. I don't know. Okay, I, I so we did in the early stages radical honesty. Yeah. We did, and we talked about a lot of stuff in three days that I wouldn't talk to somebody probably in two years. Okay, and our situation was unique at the same time. Radical honesty, and again, this is something I teach in my private coaching, you can get the link below to schedule a call with me, is radical honesty is laying your cards on the table sooner rather than later, so you, you will weed out the guys who are in it for the short run much sooner and then what happens is you actually become a magnetic attractor for someone who's more likely to want to be in relationship. When you stand in your power, when you know your standards, and more importantly, you are in the best place in your life. Because when you're in your best place in your life, I believe that's the timing that creates the opportunities. Your that confidence luck. will come through. Yes. Well said. Your confidence yeah, your comes confidence through. Your confidence comes through when you're in your power. And... And oh, I want to address that really quickly because one thing that impressed me about you is you were absolutely in your power. I could tell you, you, you weren't clingy. You weren't, um, you weren't like, oh, you're trying too hard or anything like that. You just simply made effort, which I really appreciated. But I could tell you never gave your power away to me. Oh, I never gave my power away to anybody. Exactly. Did I and give you my power now? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I think that's one of the things we, what, what I think makes us, what I feel is unique is we retain our sovereignty, our self-worth, mm -hmm. our self-esteem. And again, sadly, women who give their power away, men treat those women like low-hanging fruit. They and take women, advantage of them. Yeah. They take advantage of them. And so those are some of the reasons why men are less likely to commit. And by the way, ladies, you have every, you from your perspective, you have a lot of reasons why you wouldn't even want to date someone or even entertain a guy. I get it. It's both ways. I'm just sharing with you. Again, it's critically important. Oh, you know, one of the things I didn't address in this, 
I also think age discrimination begins to happen after age 45 for men and women alike. Well, everybody, yeah. So everybody lies on their profiles yeah. about how old they are. And some people lie and it's fine because they look whatever the age they said they were. But then you get the ones that, that don't look anything like their age. And or they post a picture 10 years younger and that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. But it's but the that's, discrimination that's, is... Integrity. So men yeah. discriminate women based on the fact that a lot of men, from a physical standpoint, want younger women. Now, they may want it, doesn't mean they'll get it. But more importantly, a lot of men think women their own age are so bitter and jaded that they go, well, let me just find a younger woman because she's going to be less bitter and jaded. Yeah. And women look at men their own age going, I don't want to be a nurse or a purse to a guy. So I think age discrimination is for both genders that happens. And this makes it more critically important. Again, I'm going to end on this particular note for this section. Be your best self, work on yourself, and just recognize that it takes time to actually get to know someone from a heart-centered level. So practice radical honesty. And that's my invitation for you all. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. I think we're going to wrap up here today. First off, I want to thank you all so much for joining us. If you like the content on this channel, please hit the like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe. Um, also, uh, please tell your friends as well. Also, if you need some support, check out the links to a free discovery call with me. Check out my group called Midlife Love Mastery. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can go there. All the books I recommend are listed in the description in the show notes as well. And I think this will be a great place to wrap up this video. And since I'm not by myself, I'm with my partner. I'm going to give you a big, gigantic chance of bear hug. And thank you, everyone, for all the wonderful messages. We There's just so many. We can't get to all of them. But. Thank oh. you. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening. Right. Bye now. Bye-bye.